I once heard from Alex Ormosi that the type of content that you should be putting out there should literally make you feel scared to put it out because of not only how valuable it is, but because sometimes you feel like you're giving away all of the secrets, okay? And for this video, I want to do just that. So pay attention, take some notes, tell your girlfriend to call you later, <laughs> whatever it might be. But please, when we dive deep into this video, you're going to learn everything that you literally are going to need in order to fill up your calendar. Okay, guys? So with a further ado, let's just hop to the computer and let's get started right away. All right, guys. So the other day, I made a video on how to book 100 calls every single month with people that are ready to buy. And I know that for most of you, if you have never been able to book 100 calls, of course, but if you are struggling to book even two, three calls per day, this might sound like it's a complete lie. So guys, what I want to do for this video is literally break down the 100 plus pre-sold calls per month into daily actionable steps so that you can actually start booking these meetings left and right. And of course, I want to also dive deep into the topic of understanding money math system-based thinking and bottleneck troubleshooting, plus some other cool stuff that we'll be covering in this video, of course, okay? So as you will see, again, stick till the end because we'll, we're going to dive into lots of things. But as always, guys, remember, you can get this entire document by joining the group and in case that you are not, follow me on Instagram or on Twitter. These are the active platforms where I am at, okay? The links for everything will be in the comments. And guys, listen, before we dive deep into the topic, and before we actually start talking about money math, I want to dive into the prerequisites to make sure that this process overall works, okay? Because if you think about it, 100 calls per month is honestly not really that impressive. If you think about it, it's literally just five calls per day from Monday to Friday, or four calls per day if you're working from Monday to, to, sun sorry, to Saturday, okay? Honestly, it's not really that much. Once the system that we'll discuss in this video is implemented slash ramped up by your VAs and software and appointment setting team, you can expect to be booking easily six calls plus even without having a big audience. And you will see how in the, by the end of the video. So again, please make sure to stick to the end because things are going to click and are going to make a lot of sense if you understand the entire system. If you just stay with what I'm, I'm going to share right now, you're going to be like, dude, um, that's not going to work, but again, stick to the end, okay? Now, if you do implement the audience growth strategies and the community funnel that we recommend to our clients, you can easily, guys, and I'm not even being exaggerated, like you can easily double that amount of calls every month, giving enough time to compound organic traffic, of course, okay? Now, second thing is, I see a lot of people out there that just talk about booking calls, getting clients, etc. For example, I see other SMMA YouTubers talk about just how to fill your calendar and like if that was the ultimate goal. And of course, we want to have clients and we want to have a financial freedom. But I want you to understand something and this is something that at least that to my knowledge, nobody else is talking about. But the model we preach with being effective and sustainable is a rapid fix to the client acquisition problem. At the end of the day, that's what this is. And that's just the first milestone that we want to hit. That's just the first part of the equation, solving client acquisition, AKA having a predictable, building a predictable client acquisition machine that works from admin perspective. But we also don't want to neglect the audience building the benefits that compound over time and the referral slash affiliate modeling that can allow you to stop doing outreach altogether in the long term. And this is the second milestone that we want to hit and that we actually do show our clients, okay? Because guys, imagine being able to live completely from the inbound leads that see you on socials. Would, wouldn't that be 100% better than just relying on your outreach campaigns? Of course it would be, man. Imagine your clients doing the marketing slash client acquisition for you via referrals, via affiliates. Of course, who would prefer to, st to keep doing cold emails instead of just relying on these type of models? Of course, this requires time and we are going to talk in different videos about this, but the end goal is this, okay? The end goal is to live completely from referrals, email leads, etc. but that requires time. And honestly, well, most of us, me included, are not in this situation yet, okay? That being said, let's start talking about money math. And the way I want to approach this is by literally being a scientist. If you guys have ever read One Piece, um, this is a new character that just appeared. I don't want to spoil for you if anyone is not up to date with the manga, but this is a really way that, this is a character that we all, that we all wanted to, to meet and we actually finally got to know him, okay? But the way we want to work, and he is a scientist, by the way. So the way we want to approach money math and the way we want to approach um, the daily infrastructure or the daily workflows to scale our companies needs to go something like this. The goal, of course, is to get clients, not just filling your calendar, of course, right? But realistically, not getting clients is not a problem that can be solved just like that. The reason why is that in order to get clients, you need to see the big picture. I mean, not getting clients is not really a problem. 
What is actually a problem is the different components that make the entire system of what clients getting clients means. So for example, getting clients requires finding leads, approaching the lead, getting a reply from the lead, potentially following up with the lead, booking a call with the lead, closing the client, and then getting the client. Okay? All of these things are the different systems that make up the entire client acquisition infrastructure that you have for outbound prospecting. Okay? So guess what? If you are always struggling to get clients, the problem is not getting clients. The problem is either that you are not finding leads or that you are not approaching the leads or that you assume that you're approaching the leads and you're not getting replies, assuming that you're getting replies, that you're not booking a call, etc. so on and so forth. Now, for every step of the journey, you have different KPIs, different bottlenecks, etc. But the reality is that if you can fill up your calendar, you'll be able to have peace of mind knowing that there are opportunities and deals to be made. Hence why everything starts with filling up your calendar. Okay? So, I always like to tell my clients, and also if you guys are watching this video, let me just tell you, the biggest or the most important problem that we need to solve is having a full calendar, okay? Not only because a full calendar gives us peace of mind and it actually signals that we are doing something right, but also because a full calendar means that you have a good sales messaging and that there's interest in the marketplace towards what you have to offer, meaning that the hardest part of running a business is actually covered, aka having product to market fit, right? Plus the actual sales skills to get people to the call, etc. Right? What's left in case that you're already booking your calls would be the closing part of the equation. Okay? But that would highly depend on in your or your sales reps skills when it comes to closing, and not your offer, your system, your processes, etc. Of course, all of this has to do with the closing part, but you get my point. Like it, it's highly dependent on your skills to close. And again, just so you know, in case that you are suck at sales and you are like, oh man, I don't don't tell me that I'm going to skip struggling. We'll also discuss near the end of this video how our modeling makes your prospects come ready to buy to your goal so that you don't have to be an objection handling master in order to actually close it, okay? Let's break down the 100 calls per month daily implementation workflow, okay? And listen, guys, we'll break this down exclusively in the sense of call prospecting using social media DMs without considering the added calls from the automated, automated cold email campaigns and the superior one-to-many client acquisition models that we'll discuss at the end. Okay, uh, this is just for one system that is going to be applied in one of the different prospecting workflows that we install inside of our clients' businesses. What you will see next, guys, this picture that you see here is literally just one day on one average channel done by one BA. Okay, what happens is the following. You might see as the, as the, oh, 100 calls per month, that seems unachievable, but let's break it down to daily implementation. One BA sends 150 call DMs to your ideal client profile every single day. Okay, period. We can make the safe assumption that on, if you actually are hitting the KPIs that we have for our clients, you get 10% reply rates from cold DMs, okay? Not cold emails, not cold calls, etc. cetera. This is cold DMs. This means that you're going to have 15, positive, 15 replies on that day, okay? Let's assume, and again, mostly, and, and, and I want to be fully transparent. Honestly, 10% is the KPI, but we have clients that have 15% reply rates and 20% reply rates even, okay? So this can massively go up, but again, let's keep it safe for the 10th person. This means that you have 15%, sorry, 15 replies this day. And let's just assume that three out of those 15 were actually negative replies. Like people that say something rude or that they say blog or that they blog you or whatever it might be. Okay, perfect. What that means is that you have then 12 CRM ads. The people that we add to the CRM, remember? I don't know if you have, if you are new to the channel, you might not know this, but I'm literally one of the only people that talk about CRM, the importance of managing your prospects in a CRM. I actually have an entire free video that you guys can go and watch and get that, the CRM that we use for us and for our clients on Google Sheets. But realistically, the people that we add to the CRM are the positive responses or the positive replies from our outbound campaigns, okay? And listen, 12 CRM, what this means is that you have 12 positive replies every single day. The next KPI that we want to hit is 20% of the people that replied positively are end up booking a call on that same day, okay? That's, of course, assuming that you have the right appointment setting skills, that you have the right frameworks, that you have everything in place to make sure that those people actually buy. Sorry, that those people actually book a call. 20% out of these 12 CRM ads, guess what? Is equals 2.4 book calls on that day. And again, remember, this is on the same day of outreach. This is not the entirety of these leads or these 12 leads, this is on the same day of outreach, okay? Remember, this was one day, one outreach channel, and one BA, okay? That's how it, the math looks like. Let's now see it 
the way we do with our customers. What you'll see next is one day, two outreach channels using two BAs, aka what we recommend our clients do. Let's say that BA1 is on Instagram and BA2 is on Twitter. Basically the same thing, but twice. Guess what, guys? This simple process leads to a nice almost round number of 2.9 book, book calls daily. Five calls booked on one single day, that's 25 calls per week. And 25 calls per week, guess what, what number it adds up to? It, that's 100 calls per month, okay? Again, that's why it's so important to have CRM management in place, tracking and follow-up systems, because I need you to really understand one thing, and this is where things actually start getting magical, and when that 100 calls per month number is honestly really small. We are not counting the focused labor that happens from separating BAs slash, um, slash solver from appointment setters. And let me show you what that looks like or what that means. What, that's what happens every single day on the same day. Like for example, this is what happens every single day on Instagram and every single day on Twitter. But add the follow-ups to the equation. For example, you or your appointment setter, you manage the daily 12 to 24 per, uh, CRM ads to book approximately five calls daily, okay? Every single day you book these five calls, easy, right? Now, if, if you or the appointment setter start following up with the CRM ads from the previous days, guess what? You can book at least one extra call per day. Why? Because you are not only going to book these calls with the 20% of people that reply here, you're going to follow up with the other, let's say, 10 CRM ads that didn't book a call or that stopped replying. Meaning that, again, it's actually higher, but let's just assume that you book one extra call with the people CRM ads from previous days, okay? Guess what's going to happen at that stage? One extra call, that's five calls per week. That's 20 calls per month, and that's already 120 calls per month in total, considering the people that book calls on the same day, okay? And listen, we're not counting the cold email system that we use for our clients to send an extra 100 cold emails every single day to their prospects. And that by itself, guess what? It's going to be another bunch of calls, right? That's, I, 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 that's just money math. That's how, how booking calls actually works. Also, I want to make some notes over here because I know that a lot of people are preaching, hey man, do volume, do, do hire BAs, hire uh, appointment setters. But there is a reason why most people never actually get the benefits of having a BA or, um, appointment, or an appointment setter or anything. And it is because if you hired an appointment setter or prospecting BA in the past, but haven't been able to see the success that you've been looking for, it comes down to one of the following reasons, okay? So if you've hired BAs, the reason why your BAs didn't work for you to book calls was because you were making your BA do the work of the setters, okay? And listen, BAs are great to do that straightforward, repetitive work, like finding leads, sending DMs, leaving comments, liking posts, adding leads to your CRM, etc. They are great at that, okay? But they are not so great at taking the warm replies from the album campaigns and booking calls with them. Because guess what? There is an entire skill set that needs to be developed for someone to be a warm, to be converted from a warm response on your inbox to a book call in your calendar, okay? The skill set is 100% different. That's why, of course, we actually have setters that are focused on other things than what the BAs are, okay? And just a quick note, I know that a lot of people are also preaching, hey man, you can just automate everything via software. But at the end of the day, guys, if I can be fully transparent, a big reason why BAs still work so great instead, instead of just relying on SaaS or, or softwares is because, I mean, with software, you can delegate or automate completely your initial outreach message. But you, you cannot actually automate the, for example, visiting the profile of the person, leaving a thoughtful comment, liking a couple of pictures on top of sending the initial touch point with the prospect. And that's why, at least to, to this day, there is no replacement for having BAs for doing the initial prospecting. Why? Because yeah, you can automate sending even more messages, but the action magic doesn't come from just sending a message. The action magic comes from, for example, not only on sending 100 DMs, it's about sending them 100 DMs, but on top of sending the DMs, leaving comments, liking posts, um, reacting to the stories of the person, etc. So hopefully that makes sense. So that's why still to this day, the BAs are a great uh, way to actually um, delegate the actual initial outreach. And now this is why if you've hired BAs, you have not had the, the, the result that you wanted. Now, assuming that you've hired appointment setters in the past and you haven't seen the success that you were looking for, there are three different reasons. The first one is because you either don't have leads for the setter to book calls with. <laughs> so that can be either new followers, opt-ins via ads, new group members, etc. So, I mean, you, you basically don't have lead through for the prospect, so sorry, for the appointment setter to book calls with, and then what are you going to do? Of course, there's nothing to do around it. 
well, not you have nothing to around it if you, of course, only you follow our strategy. The second reason why might be because you are making the seller do the work of the BA, and this is a huge one. And let me let me explain. Everybody nowadays talk about hiring an appointment setter to book calls, but the reality is is the following. How on earth are you going to have someone doing the volume mentioned above, right? Like sending 150 DMs to new prospects and adding them to the CRM and sending the connecting questions, etc., right? While having active conversations with these people, while following up with the warm leads, while finding the leads, etc. It's just plain stupid. You need to literally differentiate the two, two pieces of the equation. Or the, the last reason why is because you don't have a process. Okay, did you don't have a, I mean, you can have leads, but if your appointment seller doesn't understand your, your offer, doesn't understand the actual qualifying criteria for a good call to be made, that's why another reason why it might not be working, right? So let me show you how we actually solve this problem for all of our clients, okay? And the actual way we solve this problem is by having focus in the prospecting process, okay? So this triangle that you see here is your entire sales department. You have in the bottom your SDRs and BDRs that are BAs or software. You have in the middle your appointment setters and you have at the top your closers, okay? So what we do is that the BAs, the BAs and software can do volume outreach, aiming for quantity so that they can just focus on finding leads, sending DMs, finding leads, sending DMs, finding leads, sending DMs, and the positive replies being added to the CRM, as you can see here, okay? When someone replies positively, they, again, they get added to the CRM. And guess what? That way, your appointment setters can focus exclusively doing a personalized quality approach to these people that are, are added to the CRM, aka the warm and hot leads only. So on the one side of the spectrum, your BAs do the quantity approach and your appointment setters do the quality approach. That's how if you don't have an audience or you're not running ads, you can start to have lead flow, right? Because your BAs have warm replies being the lead flow that your appointment setters match, okay? And then you, your appointment setters start booking calls and that's where your closers enter the game, closing those deals, okay? That's pretty simple. Of course, supporting this infrastructure requires talent, skills, and most importantly, KPI and metric management because you want to optimize every stage of the journey to make sure that this actually works and keeps growing by itself, okay? Also, talking about growing, here's where this process gets powerful because this is just like the rationale or the money math into how the process works. I want to talk about our fast response appointment setting modeling, okay? Because album prospecting is great because you receive immediate market feedback from the action that you take and there's a one-to-one -one relation between the action and the response, meaning that you send one message and you get either one reply or no replies, okay? <coughs> album prospecting is incredible, works amazingly well to book calls right now and to make, and to make cash, to put cash in the bank right now, but it's really hard to scale. I mean, it's not... It's not that it's not scalable, it's simply it doesn't compound and you're always having a one-to-one -one relationship, okay? AKA one call DM to one reply or one call DM to no replies. But the problem we tried solving was how to add a compounding effect organically. This is a good, important word. Compounding effects organically to this one-to-one -one relationship so that we can guarantee high replies, meaning that we have more options or more opportunities or more chances of getting that one message that we sent to become a positive reply instead of a no reply. Second, how to, how to actually have a frictionless and overall easier closes with your prospects, right? Because of course, we don't want to simply have cold leads on our calendar. We want to make them come to the call pretty much ready to buy or as, as close to that as possible. While also empowering these one-to-one album -one models to add up to the audience building, community funnel, and long-term con conversion with windows below. Okay, so that's where the micro BSLs enter the game. But what we do is that the angles that we use for call prospection offer the micro BSLs that make your prospects binge watch your content, get indoctrinated, and come ready to buy your calls. So this is the biggest insight that I have been able to gather in the last three years of me being in business, honestly. Okay, so the way we leverage micro BSLs is the following. Yeah, we have one called DM that is offering these micro BSLs, meaning that there is a higher chance of getting a reply. Now, because we actually got that reply and we actually sent them the micro BSL, the person is going to consume the micro BSL and possibly even start binge watching your content or your different documents, depending on what the BSL was all about, which leads, of course, to more nurture and touch points, AKA an easier to book call. And once the call is booked, it makes it even easier to close. This is why this is so powerful. And not only that, once somebody, once somebody consumes your micro BSLs, that micro BSL in themselves is going to have call to actions to join your community funnel. So again, guess what? The person joins your community funnel, which leads back to more nurture, 
and more touch wins. Okay, so this is how it gets so powerful. Now, I want to literally show you how to stack an audience plus a community funnel to the infrastructure that we just described over here. Okay, because this is really powerful. Listen, these micro VSLs that we leverage in the album campaigns are what we call foundational VSLs. But what we do is that on a weekly basis, we create what we call situational BSLs, and these are done on YouTube. Why on YouTube? Because since you are creating such a big and profound, let's say, effort to create a YouTube video, it's really easy to consume or to repurpose, that, to, to apply a repurposing cadence on your social media profiles of that YouTube video that you made. For example, you can easily make a Twitter thread on the video, plus simply share the video on Twitter. You can make an Instagram post from the video and also make an Instagram story from the video. The same happens on Facebook, whether that's your Facebook group or your Facebook profile, on LinkedIn, etc. Okay? And guess what? You're going to start having email leads natively in every platform. What that means is that, yeah, the biggest money is going to be made from this call, from these album campaigns that we're going to be doing over here. But from the actual YouTube content that you create, you're going to get email leads from your YouTube content organically that are going to book calls with you without you doing any outreach. Also, since you are repurposing these super powerful videos in here and growing your audience in these other channels, guess what? On those channels, you're also going to start getting email leads. So it's literally a, a, a never-ending platform that starts nurturing itself. Of course, it takes time. That's why we actually want to start with all of this, okay? But yeah, all of these videos, all of these situational BSLs and all of these content pieces are going to lead back to the community funnel, okay? And guess what? Now that they're in the community funnel, that's a one to many client acquisition model since approximately 20 to 30% of the new group members are going to book a call in the first three days after they join. Okay? So let's say that you just add on a weekly basis 10 new group members. That's three extra calls per week, and that's 12 calls per month. Okay? And the single setup of your community funnel allows to nurture all of your prospects for the long term, allowing you to work long conversion windows from your leads. Okay? In other words, you have a full stack cash printer that yields fast cash to build security and financial freedom and long-term growth that makes it easy to monetize your audience by simply having everyone on the community funnel, you leverage appointment setters so that once you start having a bigger audience, for example, even me, like I always like to tell you guys, right now I have less than 600 subscribers on YouTube. I don't have a single platform where I have more than 1,000 followers. And look at this, guys. How I'm still able to, for example, in the past week alone, 28 new members. 28 new members is literally, well, let's say 30 new members, for, just for a second simple month, that's 120 members per month. That's more than a thousand people per year, okay? So imagine that I keep growing my socials. All I have to do is literally just channel this traffic, book calls with, with the people that join, and that's how we start get, getting more customers. It's that easy, guys. And of course, I know that nobody nobody is going to tell you these things mostly because of course i invite you guys to join my community it's actually intrinsically valuable for you to join because there are free resources and everything but of course like once you are in the community it's just a matter of time before you become a client and what, it, what most people are not going to tell you these type of things because they just want you to join but they don't tell you how you end up becoming their customers okay so i just want you to know how it works so that you can actually apply this for yourself and make some money and of course once you make some money come buy from us, okay? <laughs> if you'd like help figuring out the perfect sales messaging to make your perfect clients excited to hop on a call with you and come ready to buy while setting up this entire infrastructure, go ahead and book a call at royland.com. And yeah, I'll be happy to help you guys. Appreciate your attention, appreciate your time, and hope that this one was helpful. Love you all. Peace.